From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait! Ooh-ha-ha! Welcome, Brother Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh-ha-ha! Enough with the Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh! Well, here we have it, everybody. Container Pond 3.0. This will be the third year, and as you can see, it looks like a, a crazy mess, but a very, very, very generous person happened to hook me up with this 70-gallon container here, which will definitely kick up the pond for 2017 to another level. 70 gallons, nice and sturdy. Of course, it didn't fit in the little area where I had it last year, but those little containers will not go to waste. They're over there. They're being used right now for a little uh, hydroponics. I got some plants in there, which worked out because my squirrel has not been able to dig them up and screw around with them. So this, I am trying to figure out how I'm going to situate it back here. Right now, it's under my grapevine, as it's always been in previous years. But this is a temporary top. We had a rain the last couple of days, which actually filled it up, which raised a real concern as to how much rainwater can fill this up and end up flooding it over. I never had that problem before because like we see, the containers are usually small and I usually have like a glass top or something on them. So I'm going to come up with some sort of overflow for this. I have some bulkheads that I can probably drill and install at like a flood level. Like, you know somewhere up here so it doesn't overflow but as you can see this is much bigger than previous containers and you may be asking yourself well do why don't you just put it in the ground i don't put it in the ground for three reasons one i don't have the room because my grapevine is a monster two uh it's a pain in the neck bending over every time i have to get something out like fish plants and homie back start hurting <laughs> And three, I constantly get critters in the backyard. Squirrels, the neighbor's cats, possums, brackle, anything that comes back here will end up swimming in here like it's the community pool. So I'm going to uh, take some screen that I have and build a little frame top for it for so that it looks a little better than this. And I'll probably use these sheets of plexi that I have back here and kind of incorporate them into the build somehow. Don't worry, I'll do it because I ain't going to have my backyard look like a mess. But I uh, thought you guys could get a sneak peek. If you have any suggestions, I'll give you a wide angle shot of my little area back here where I keep it. In the backyard, I can't go any further than that because the rest is family space and I would be encroaching on family space car space and everything else so leave some comments give me ideas i'll probably build a better frame for it because if you can look closely this is basically the frame that i had last year turned upside down but i like it at this height because i don't have to bend over and uh it just works out better because i can just walk right up to it look see what i gotta do whatever and keep on moving but uh leave your comments below this is a quick blurb to uh, pick you guys brains and uh, get some ideas uh, what I should do as far as situating it maybe I'll move it the long way I don't know I kind of didn't look right to me but uh, I'll play around with it so uh, let me know what you think this is D till next time signing out another project people another project always another project see ya You're not gonna freak out like you did at the petting zoo, are you? Hey, that snail was about to charge.